Jane was always a little buddy. Well, back then they called her Janie, and I still like to call her that. As soon as I heard that Jane was ill, I knew right away that it had to be her <laughs> that got this. She loved to make art projects. She still is, every sunrise, sunset. Those are her two favorite things ever. So every sunrise, sunset, that is a masterpiece yet again from Jane. And so she had said that they were gonna put some of the money towards her art projects and getting something set up for her as far as her own area. Jill always said that it would be when she got better after the treatments had been done. There were no more treatments that could be done. She had to come home. Jane was eight years old when she died on September 6th. Her birthday, she would have turned nine on September 27th. Jill is the most amazing, strong-willed person I've ever met. She gave her own daughter's eulogy at her funeral because her last, Jane's last wish was to be remembered and to have her story told. Jill, um, ever since Jane was diagnosed and was sick, her legacy was to raise money for childhood cancer awareness. They have continued on with the Princess Warrior Foundation. There will be an annual event, and it's a 5K walk, run, roll, stroll, and crawl. And as we were driving there on Saturday morning in the rain, we're thinking, Janie's laughing at us right now, thinking, I can't believe these suckers. They're going to go walk in the rain for me. It was just so rewarding. I mean, you had little kids pulling wagons, moms and dads walking with strollers and their babies. And we were all singing and dancing in the rain. You need to live more Jane-like every day, one day at a time. And you know what? Go out and dance in the rain.